Good morning, Pelicans. It's Morty here from Pelican Pod Travel Blog. Why don't we take a look at how it went? The Universal Islands of Adventure first. Well, we visited the Wizarding World of Harry Potter for the very first time by our awesome hosts, Orlando and Forma. June 2024. Axio Travel. Note the switch and flick. We started off before 7 p.m. by going to the Leaky Cauldron. I already did that video. So this is after. We made our way to the castle in Hogsmeade Village. And then we went over to Jurassic Park. So let's take a look, see what's going on. The free food wouldn't begin until 8 p.m. And we just happened to be at Florian Fortescue's at the time. So we started off with ice cream and not Diagon out. But stunning views of the castle at 5 p.m. lay before us. And it was just a sight to behold. After living in that universe, reading the books, watching the movies for so many years, it was just an absolute pleasure to actually see it in person. And Universal gets props because every single piece of IP was treated with just the most excellent reproduction in exactly what my mind's eye had pictured. I mean, there might have been an exception or two, but all in all, this is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and it is alive. Now we, once we pass in a Jurassic Park, we look around, we come back, we take the Hogsword Express over to Diagon Alley. But we will come back later and watch for future videos which will include the return of the full light show on Hogwarts Castle, which is pretty awesome. Now these young ladies were nice enough to pose for a photo and they work for the Ministry of Magic. And they were the gatekeepers of Hogwarts Castle. So be sure to subscribe and like, leave a comment, there will be lots more from Hogwarts. Everywhere you go in Jurassic Park, the music is playing and it just makes for an immersive feel as you walk through this giant cave. Let's take a look around. While we didn't get any food, welcome. Jurassic Park. We do take a look at all the merch, the Discovery Center, and more. And just like the Wizarding World, all the decor at Jurassic Park was just immersive and perfect. The Discovery Center has a plethora of interactive displays where you can check your DNA, you can make a dinosaur out of yourself. You can do all kinds of fun things, especially great for kids. I had fun as an adult, but there's also something very special, and we're about to see what that is. And on the top floor, most of it's merchandise and the Dinosaur Digs restaurant. But ahead is that iconic scene towards the end of the movie where the dinosaur fossils are. I shouldn't say the end of the movie, throughout the movie. Where the dinosaur fossils are and there's circular stairs going around. And while it's not exact, it's pretty dang close and pretty amazing. So let's look around some of the stuff downstairs and be ready for a surprise towards the end of the basement exploration.
Besides the interactive displays, there's also some excellent murals and some artwork. Let's take a look at a couple of these, both inside and outside. The entrance on the lower side, where Velocicoaster is. Jurassic Park is for everybody. We'll have a coupon day. As a child at heart, I just fell in love with all the different merchandise, the toy dinosaurs, the clothing, lunch boxes, just about anything you could put the Jurassic Park imagery on. It was there. Now, we're about to move on. We go back over to Hogsmeade Village, which is a short walk across a bridge. And then we get on the Hogwarts Express. And that takes us to Diagon Alley, just in time for when the actual event of Orlando Informers Mort Meetup begins. The park closes to the public and the free food starts. So let's follow along and see what happens. Oh, and this right here is because there's a rumor that all the sewage grates throughout the park have themes. I think I forgot to cover them all. Now, in normal days, it does require park-to-park -park tickets if you're going to ride the Hogwarts Express from Island's Adventure 
over to Diagon Alley and vice versa. But here we are walking into the station on the Hogsmeade side for the very first time. And the next video will be of our experience at Diagon Alley and the Knights Boss in London. Enjoy these last few minutes and I will see you again. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and find us on Patreon. It's free to join. It barely hurts. Maybe it hurts a little bit, but it barely hurts. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry about any of the bad news. Not really, but, but really. <laughs>